answer, maybe just talk about the event. Obviously, a great platform for the women's game. Um, just talk about how the, the game unfolded and just the fun of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a fabulous event. I mean, for the current state of women's hockey and what we're doing this year, it was really the perfect event for us to showcase our game and, and really get that visibility and exposure. And so we definitely have a lot of thanks to the NHL because we thought it went really well and it was a lot of fun. Sarah, what's the next step? Obviously, Kendall participated last year. You've got three on three. What, what, how does this become even bigger next year? Yeah, I hope that we can continue it. I mean, the women have been involved in the last three consecutive All-Stars, I believe. and. We've gained a lot of momentum while we've been here, and so we hope to continue it and, I mean, make it even better as we as we keep going. I think the coolest thing was actually when we all were on the ice, um, the men and the women, and it was pretty cool because it was like we were standing with the best men's hockey players in the world, and you had the best female hockey players standing there too, and all of us on the same ice I don't think has ever happened before. So that was a pretty surreal moment and something that, that I'll never forget. What were those conversations like? Which conversations? Yeah, like you're sitting there on the <laughs> yeah. ice and watching together. Yeah. They're awesome. You know, they they really support our cause and they want to know more about what we're doing because obviously these last couple of years we've been out of sight, out of mind, and people haven't really been privy to what goes on in women's hockey. And so they were really just curious to see what's going on and they want to know how they can help and what they can do to really promote the game. So they were awesome all, all weekend so far. Of course, it didn't really have an all-star game feel. There was a lot of intensity out there too, especially with the battle range. Can you talk a little bit about that and maybe a bit more about the intensity of Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you think of a typical All-Star game, it's pretty lackadaisical out there. But, I mean, that was the Canada-USA rivalry. You know, we battle with each other constantly. And so there was a lot of pride on the line, and it was nice that we were able to come out on top. Uh, a lot of athletic roots in your family as well with Darnell and Kia. Maybe you just talk about growing up in that family and the competitiveness that you guys had. Yeah, I think together the compete level within us all was was pretty high. Um, from a young age, we have all strived to be the best we can possibly be, and it just so happens that we got to compete with each other, and I think it made us all better athletes. And so it was pretty cool growing up, you know, we played soccer, we played basketball, we ran track against each other, and so it's cool that we've all kind of gone our different paths and had success uh, each individually. And did you and Darnell kind of have that hockey connection always because you guys have Got a bit further in the sport mm -hmm. than obviously kids basketball. Yeah, absolutely. We we've been able to grow up playing against each other and so that was pretty cool. As we were younger, you know, we got to play hockey together and seeing how hard he's worked and how far he's gotten with the Oilers obviously playing in the NHL and um, myself with Team Canada and so it's cool that we get to talk about hockey with each other, text back and forth. You know, he gave me some three on three pointers this weekend, so it's pretty awesome. Can you speak a little bit more to Darnell's game? Obviously you get a chance to watch him as much as you can, but mm -hmm. Having the chance to watch him in the NHL, what's, what's that like? It's so special. Um, you know, he scored on scored on the Leafs the other day, so that was pretty cool. He had a lot of family in the stands, but he's such a talented kid, and he's a kid that leaves his heart and soul on the ice, and he's a complete hard worker, and he's pretty fun to watch. Um, he's going to be a pretty good defenseman in this league very, very soon, and I mean, he already is. So I'm very excited to see where his career goes. Yeah. Today it was just exhibition, but did it still feel like that USA Canada? Absolutely. I mean, we face off against each other in a week and a half um, in Vancouver, Victoria, and Anaheim. So this is kind of setting the stage and setting the table for setting the tone, really, for that series. Was the weird being in the same locker room? Was that a little awkward? Oh, it was a little strange. After the game, <laughs> we wanted to celebrate a little bit, and we were looking across the room and seeing the Americans, and we were like, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's electric. Um, you could definitely see that when the St. Louis players were up there. It was absolutely crazy. And, I mean, we don't know what goes on with Patrick Kane and why they're booing him so much, but that was pretty cool. That shows the passion that this city has for, for hockey and for this team. And so it's been amazing. We got to meet uh, Layla earlier, and so she is just the biggest Blues fan ever. And so it's been a lot of fun, and this building was absolutely electric.